It is 8.36 on a Saturday. I am Malani Kai, M-A-L-A-N-I-K-A-I. And my special co-host, Raven Drummer, casting director, producer, director extraordinaire. She is in the house. We're going to continue to take your calls because the calls are lined up from Miami to New York to the ATL. They want to talk to Raven Drummer. But Raven and I were doing pre-show prep and we decided, Raven, I asked Raven, what's pickleball? She said, you know what? I heard about it, but we really don't know. So what we decided to do is to talk to someone who is an avid pickleballer. I don't even know if that's the right thing to say. If you sounds maybe. right. Sounds right. Sounds good <laughs> yeah. enough. Avid pickleballer. And actually, I saw this article in the AJC, and it was like pickleball players lobby Atlanta City officials mm. for their own courts. And yeah. this name came up, Tim Ball, 76 years old. And he is one of the best trainers, pickleball teachers, and pickleball guys, experts. He's on the line with us right now. Tim, welcome. Milani. Kai. It's so excited to be with you today. That's just wonderful. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Raven and I, Raven and I are excited to have you. So I, I keep hearing about pickleball. I hear it is the fastest growing sport in all of America. People from LeBron James to celebr- other celebrities have been investing in pickleball. And then I read this article in the AJC that says thousands of Atlantans are taking it up and led by 76 years old. And I say that because I'm extremely impressed by that tim 76 year old tim ball what is going on with the explosion of pickleball uh mainly in atlanta well one of the things that's exciting melania is that pickleball is for all ages i mean at 76 i've been beaten by 85 year old women Uh, i've played with nine-year-old kids and as a matter of fact last saturday at washington park here in atlanta i taught three teenage boys an hour later, I taught a grandmother, her daughter, and her two granddaughters all how to play pickleball. And, and you know what? I think I could even teach you and Raven how to play pickleball. <laughs> In an hour, I'd have you out on the court playing pickleball and being competitive. Uh, hey, hey there. It's Raven, by the way. It is a pleasure to talk to you about pickleball. Um, and let me tell you, one of the things, I, I do not know Uh, how to play this game. I've never played it. But my mother, who's in her 60s, has been talking so much about how she wants to learn to play. So what do you think the appeal is for um, um, those people who are a little older? What do you think the appeal is for them wanting to join and learn how to play pickleball? Well, first of all, it's so easy to learn. It's unlike tennis and a lot of other sports. In an hour, I can have you play in pickleball. And I teach a lot of, of people in their 60s and 70s, and it's, it gets them off the sofa, especially the retirees. I've had a number of, especially retired women, come to me and say, I get off the sofa every week to go play pickleball. It's the most fun I have all week. So for those folks that are in their 60s and 70s, it's a low-impact sport. They can get out and have fun. They can play with their grandkids, for example and still have, have fun and enjoy the sport. So you can compete at a lot of different levels. Um, but as uh, Melania Kay said, the problem we have in Atlanta, we don't have any place to play. We have about 10,000 people playing pickleball in the city of Atlanta, and we have not one dedicated pickleball court in a city park in the city of Atlanta right now. And, and our goal as an organization, a nonprofit, is to bring pickleball because it is so communal. I mean, we'd love to have tournaments where high school kids could play people in the police force, have a cops versus kids tournament. Uh, There's just so much fun we can do and and bring community together for the city of Atlanta because it's just very communal. And this is what you're, Tim, this is what you're asking the Atlanta City Council to do. You want free pickleball courts built around the city. That's right, Milani K. Our goal is to have at least five, six city centers around the city with six pickleball courts where people can either walk, ride a scooter, or ride a bike and play pickleball for free. And all around the suburban areas around Atlanta, we're getting those kind of facilities. Now, our our new Parks and Recs Commissioner, Commissioner Cutler, has offered the first proposal to bring 14 pickleball courts to Atlanta this next year. But if we had 50 right now, we would not have enough pickleball courts in the city. 
Tim, that is wonderful to hear. I've not watched it. Raven's not watching my uh, Keela, my manager's here. Have you done the pickleball thing? You've not done it? She's like, no, she hasn't. So, Tim, how about this? We're one day, Raven and I, they're so busy, and Keela, we're going to take you up on that offer, and we're going to meet you somewhere, and, and you teach us pickleball, and we'll come back on the radio and say he was right. Uh, the pickleball is all that, or we're going to say, ooh, we hate it. We can't stand it. Can we do that? No, no, you, you're going to love it. And listen, I, one, of, one of our long-term goals, Melania Kay, is we want kids in Atlanta playing with a pickleball paddle, and we want them playing with pickleball paddles and not packing guns. That's our goal. We want them out building community with other folks, enjoying themselves, and playing pickleball. Tim, thank you so much. People want to find out more about this pickleball that is the fastest growing sport in all of America. They want to especially find out how they can contact you and, and what's going on with your uh, nonprofit. Where can they find you? Well, believe it or not, it is timpickleball.com, and my last name really is Ball. And you can just click on the Contact Me section and send me a message. Love to talk pickleball with you and help you find a place to play or set you up with lessons. Tim, on behalf of Raven and I, thank you so much. And Raven, maybe we can get your, maybe we can get your mom out there. We're going to get your mom out. Is your mom in Atlanta, Raven? She's not, but she'll be coming here very soon. So I will happily pass along your information to her. Mother daughter lesson clinic. I can I can feel it right now. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Tim, thank you so much. My best to your wife and we'll be chatting with you soon.